Hey guys, welcome to Game Jam, and today we are playing some Parkitect, and I am on a little scenario I built. Look at my tiny little park. So what I've done here is I've set up a bunch of spawn points, uh, and just, just to make sure the guests get in here a little faster, I put these little close signs in order to make sure that they go straight into the park, and they can't, like, back out and go through another spawn point. Uh, and then you'll see over here I've set up a bunch of burger shops, a bunch of drink shops, and then filled in the rest of the park with uh, four rides and queues so that people can line up for all the rides that they want to go on. It seems like a terrific little park. It's got a little bit of a trash problem, but it's, it's okay. It looks kind of nice. Uh, we've got two haulers going and two mechanics to make sure all the rides stay active. And it looks like we're kind of close to peak capacity for this little park. 100, 300, 4 people. It'll probably get a little bit more here and there, but what I've noticed is that as soon as like it's kind of reached max capacity, the spawn points, despite having a ton of them, they won't spawn anything anymore. Um, that being said, the, the rating looks fine, but there is one little problem with the park. And it may be clear when I talk to the guests. You know, they're not hungry. They're not tired or thirsty. There seems to be an issue with the toilets. Hey, where is the toilet, as a matter of fact? I'm kind of curious. Wait, there's no toilet. No toilet anywhere. Those are just restaurants, more more drink shops. And what you'll notice here is everybody in the queue. See these people kind of bouncing around a little bit? Let's see. Oh, I think they really need to go to the toilets. So the goal of today's video is to drive as many people to the to the max toilet as possible and see how much we can charge for the restroom. That's pretty much the goal of the video. That's it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to let the simulation run for a little bit. Uh, what I'm trying to do is max out as many people as possible before I put the, uh, the restroom in. And then uh, we'll see what magic happens. So here we go. All right, we are getting close to June, and I'm going to give you a quick progress update. I'll, I'm going to slow down the screen for a second while I'm talking here. Uh, so I have no janitors, so you can start to see they're starting to get a little bit of a little bit of vomit on the floors, and there's there's quite a bit of trash. Uh, but what I really want to pay attention to here is is the happiness really significantly impacted, or is it slightly impacted? Is there even a negative impact to the, to uh, people not go, not being able to go to the restroom? Uh, and the other thing I did was I put up uh, one of the characters that has to go to the bathroom really bad, and I just wanted to see whether uh, something ends up happening. And I can see here the happiness is terrible, but I'm wondering if she just eats, will that change it? Uh, so let's see what the, what the character's doing. Whoa. Looks kind of a little crazy like that. So, we're going to pay attention, see what else is happening with the park, and, uh, and then we will put the restroom in. We'll probably wait till like October or November to do that. So here we go. Everybody's dancing to some music. I, I don't I don't hear the music, but I'm, I'm sure it's it's an amazing song because everyone's just dancing and beat. Um, yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, people are still uh, having to go to the bathroom. But that being said, they will take care of their hunger and thirst. So even though they have to go to the bathroom really bad, they will still get a drink. Seems like a poor choice, but uh, that's what you have to do when there is nowhere to go. Um, we have maybe another month or two, and we will place the bathroom. So let's just let the simulation run a little longer. Here we go. All 
All right, guys, we are back. Uh, you can kind of see the park has gotten a, a, a little bit disgusting. Let's take a look at the overall cleanliness. Somehow the cleanliness is still 52%. I don't really know why, but uh, you can see it's kind of trashed. <laughs> it literally is trashed. It is time, however, the moment of truth to see how much we can charge for a toilet. Pausing the simulation, we are going to go find our bathrooms here. And there's only one bathroom, mind you, so this, this is going to be pretty tragic. Actually, let's do this. We're going to have it face everybody. They're sitting on invisibleness. Uh, let me put a road here, because it's necessary. And then let's talk to... Let's see what the toy, toilet's set to. So let's do... What can people afford? Let's, let's check. Uh, inventory? Come on. Who's got inventory? Uh, let's see. Inventory. $76. Uh, so let's start with the high price of $75. And let's see how it goes. This clearly has uh, no customers so far. So, time to, time to see what happens. And we'll just leave this up here and see what happens. Oh, actually, we don't even need to see this anymore. And what's interesting to note uh, while watching this whole experiment run is that... Yeah, although the toilet does affect the happiness meter, it doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to have that much of a negative impact, if you will. Like, it's like, okay, people have to go to the restroom, but they can still take care of the hunger and thirst and still get happy from the rides. So, that being said, let's see what happens here. We have charged $75 for a toilet. People are thinking about going in. Do they change their mind when they see the price? Whoa, nope. Nope, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna let it go. See if we get our first customer. People are balking at the price. You sure about that? You, you, you do a really have to go to the bathroom. You can see everybody's still doing the dance. Okay, it looks like $75 will not do it. Uh, no one has tried it yet. Everybody's gone in and then gone out. All right. So time to change the price. We are going to go back to normal speed and go to $70. Do we have a taker at $70? Here we go. No customers. $60. Do I have... Let's have a taker at $60. And uh, let me point out that everything is free in this park. So people have tons of money, it's not an issue of money. Actually, we'll double check here, make sure that this isn't a money issue. Uh, Robin Michael has... $54. He, oh, he couldn't afford it. Maybe maybe that was a limit there. No. So I think some people already have enough money. $83. Yeah, they got, they got money. This isn't an issue. Got lots of trash, too. Um, so that's not working. Let's try 50. Come on, $30. $30 isn't that bad. Let's just go straight to 20 I feel like it was getting close. No? Not not there? 15 <gasps> The magic number! Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's go back again. Let's, we're going to go to uh, 19... 95. See if we get any customers. We're at five. There is a limit somewhere that has been reached. I'm not paying that much for a toilet. <laughs> oh, and there was customer 20. Okay. I think that solves our mystery, though. It looks like to be a hard cap on a price of about seventeen twenty was what uh, customers were willing to pay when they really had to go to the bathroom really bad. Now, not everybody was willing to pay that price, um, and you can see there's still a lot of people that go, uh, I'm not paying that much, but then there's still people that say, well, it's just a bit overpriced. You mean seventeen ten seems kind of reasonable. Um, so I imagine if I drop down the number further, you'll immediately start seeing more people coming through. Maybe if I put like 15 bucks, you'll just see the droves start coming in, no problem. Yeah, already more customers are coming in. 
Um, so what I think is ending ha happening in the engine, I don't know for a fact, I'm just gonna take a guess of what I think it's doing, is probably attractions, including the shops, have not a hard limit, uh, but there is a price point where they just literally say, not gonna do it anymore. Uh, we could go test other stores and see what their limits are. Uh, but what I can see as of right now is that the limits for the toilets is right about $17. Um, so if you want to charge more for your toilet, eh, that's, that's your number to work around. Uh, that being said, uh, that is it for my testing on this. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.